Okay, so I'm not sure where to start because there are a lot of good spots here. As you can see, there's lots of iron lying around and that's a sure sign that there's more metal underneath. Look at it all down there. See all these bits of iron. Just about every rock is made of iron. So, um, actually I think down here, if we clear these big rocks out of here, <laughs> Alex has found a lock already. <laughs> So I'm just going to uh, clear away a few of these rocks first. Hello. Hello! Okay, so we're at the beach and I've just yes. found this amazing piece of blue sea glass. But we're not here to look for sea glass. No, we're not. We're here to look for metal and this is a great spot because look, there is slag, oh my a layer goodness. of slag on the ground which is hardened and it catches all the hard bits of metal and heavy objects. Yeah. And also, the, the storms over the winter have washed all the sand away. It's so revealed all perfect. sorts. There's a ton of iron here and we're hoping underneath there's going to be things like brass and copper and if we're lucky, maybe Little coins, artifacts, artifacts yeah. silver, even we gold. Found, uh, we found um, miners tags here. Miners well. tallies, musket balls, you name it. So we're very yeah. excited to get started. <laughs> so let's, let's do, do it. it. I think that's iron, or iron ore, because it's really heavy. There's tons of it here, look at all this. So now we've got to keep our eyes peeled for green because the ferrous metal, the copper alloy and brass goes green. coins also and that's made of silver. Silver tends to go black and of course gold just stays gold and we have found gold here before. So silver actually is a uh, it stays silver because um, it's here's so, my um, first find. Uh, Lovely know. copper nail. Oh there's another one there as well. There's two. I'm gonna move a place here. Here you go look. Okay, so I'll get back to you when I find some more interesting things. So I've got my first find here and we've got some beautiful brass and copper. We've got some boat nails, some nugs. And I think the last time we were here, we had several people ask, what is a nug? A nug is literally just short for nugget. Simple as that. These are just nuggets of uh, copper alloy. I'm not 100% sure why they're here, but there's loads of these nuggets on the beach. This one's kind of more green and that one's kind of got more like a coppery, brassy tinge to it. Yeah, just some like alloys, copper alloys. And uh, all sorts of unidentifiable little bits and bobs. But we're hoping to find some coins and if we're lucky, some miners tags or musket balls or something. Okay, so a few finds down here and the first one is a staple. <laughs> it's a copper staple or brass. And the other one is a coin. Probably an old halfpenny, but usually the coins here are pretty well worn down. And you might wonder how all this stuff got here. And it's a combination of rubbish being dumped on the beach, um, industrial rubbish, and just people sitting on the beach, losing things out of their pockets. Of course, it's just got trapped here. 
for us to find. So, yeah, that's why we find quite an assortment of different things. Oh my goodness, guys, I found my first coin. It's like a little, it's quite tiny, isn't it? It's quite wee. Uh, some of the coins we found here have been really, really old. Look, see the water kind of coming in where we've been digging, which is a bit annoying. But, yeah, I can't see much on there. It's quite worn down. We've got the first coin of the day, and hopefully we'll find quite a few of these. And some old ones as well. But look at all the iron we've been digging up already. There's tons of it. And this is all antique stuff as well. This has been lying here for over 100 years, a lot of it. So we just made a channel here, look, to drain the water out of this bit. It's <laughs> drained out down there. And I just threw this up. Can you spot it? It's spot oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. You kind of gave it away for everyone there a little yeah, bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's another giant coin. It looks like another penny. Oh no, what is going on there? What is it? Hold on a minute, that's not a penny. What it's like it? it got an, an enamel man on the back. Can you oh, see that? Yeah. It's like got enamel. What is it? It's like oh, some know. sort of medallion of some sort. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, what's, what's on the back? Is there anything on the back? It might be. It looks like the face of some man. It's got something written on here and down there. Oh, that is really fascinating. What on earth is that? It's like some sort of ancient relic, isn't it? How cool is that? So far, and it's, it hasn't been very long, my favorite find. And it's this amazing, it looks like it's had some sort of blue enamel on it. So you can kind of see traces of it. And it's the bust of um, a man with great big mutton chops by the looks of it great big like bearded sideburn things um that what called pork chops what pork chops pork chops mutton chops that's what i'm looking for not pork chops <laughs> anyway uh I, I i just said pork chops <laughs> <laughs> i said that before you know Oh my goodness. Anyway, there might be a name on here to look up. That might be interesting. <laughs> Work out who this guy is. And there might be something on the back as well. But anyway, great finds. Already found a pile of finds here. Coins. And um, mum's also got some. I don't know where they are. But loads and loads and loads of iron. Like wrought iron, nuts, bolts, things off ships, things off machinery. Um... There's lots of mining waste around here, so there's loads of stuff from the old mines. It's just, it, it's amazing. It's an amazing spot here for treasure hunting. So we're gonna continue the hunt. Oh my goodness, Alex, you're not gonna believe this. I think I can see something. Yeah. I've just been scraping away down here oh and God. look. Is it gold? Oh no, it's better than gold, isn't it? Look, can you see a hole yes, there? Yes, I think I know what that is. <sighs> Go on, go and get it. Yes. Oh my goodness, it is. It's a minus it's tally. It's a minus tally. Oh, it's got a number on it. Hang on, I'll wipe it on my trousers. It's got the number on it. What does that say? Oh, 18? No. No, 16, 16. I think. 16. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my goodness. See, that is exactly the kind this of thing we This is for today. one of my absolutely favourite finds. And there were a couple of mines not very far from here. Of course, we found uh, quite a few of these on this beach before. Oh, wait, what's that? What's that? <laughs> oh my god. It's a coin. <laughs> it's a coin. Just like is it that. a coin? I is think it, it is. We're going to be fooled by this. Um... Is it a coin or is it? Oh. oh I think so. Is it it must be a penny. That's a penny. It's the same size. Oh, it's the same size. Ish. It's another Kindness. penny. Oh my goodness. Riches, riches. <laughs> Not quite, but yeah, we find riches in history. We find riches in ditches. Yeah. <laughs> also, these are a few of the other little bits of things I've been finding. So not a lot, but this makes up for it. Oh my goodness. That's one of the finds of the day, I think with my medallion thingy, my bob. Yeah, but I absolutely love the miners tallies. 
That is just fantastic. That'll go in our collection nicely. It's been a while since we found one as well. I know, I've forgotten how exciting it, it is. It is so exciting. digging in, in here because you just don't know what's going to come up. Wow! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> This smells, smells like oil, which is quite horrible. Pollution, it's nasty. But over here, we've got this thing. And I, you know what, I recognize this. And it's extremely, extremely obscure. I'd be very impressed if you could guess what that is. But we did a bit of research and we believe that these are the reeds out of um, accordions. And we found quite a few of them down here. So were the sailors out there on the ships, the old wooden ships coming in and out? The fishermen playing their accordion. I wonder how it got into the sea. Yeah, maybe they're sitting on the beach playing. As the tide went out. I wonder how, yeah, they got broken up on the beach though. <laughs> so we've got our knee pads on today because these rocks will play havoc with your knees. And we speak from experience, so yeah. Don't go doing this without knee pads on. Knee pads? Without, with knee pads on. <laughs> knee is uh, no in. Northeast language. I just found a fossil. See this rock here? You see these little holes, indentations? That's where a trunk or the root of a, a prehistoric tree has been uh, resting all these years ago, like the outer bark of the Lepidodendron. I think I've said that right. From last week. So, yeah, that's interesting. So just starting um, to dig on a new spot here. So let's see what we can find. See glass. Rust there. What's this? Oh, what is this? <laughs> I don't know. It's iron mostly. I don't know what that is. Oh. Oh. Sounds like Alex has found something. I just heard an O. Big chunks of iron. And there's lots of these sort of aluminium pins off something. I think they're, I think they're off a conveyor belt. <coughs> so industrial. So yeah, I'll come back when I find something. Look what I've just pulled out here. Can you see the round? Let's have a look. Coin, it's another coin. Oh, this one looks old. It's a big one. Yeah, it's a it's a penny. And then you can see Britannia on there, but it's very, very faint. Very, very faint. I'm not sure whose head's on there. 
who knows it's a man's head <laughs> but that's cool that's the second find of the day mum's also found something interesting over here it's like some sort of um disc and we think it might even be a token and she's just gone and found another one a round sort of lump of lead yeah. like a token thing i think this is a bit big to be a token maybe it's some sort of weight or something nice heavy bit of lead now, there's quite a few bits of lead and there's quite a few bits of lots of things what's that we'll take the lead with us. yeah we're going to take as much lead as we can find because there's lots here don't want to yeah leave that behind if we can help it and I was just scraping away and look what I found it's a key someone has lost their front door key when they've been sitting on the beach so they've got home and been like oh no <laughs> the key's gone I hope they, uh, they had a spare one so just look at this one great big piece of iron goes all the way around here it's just one conglomeration of iron it's got a big rock in the middle of it there all sorts of iron pieces all stuck together you can see some of them are like bolts and nuts and actually down here is a bit of copper what's this Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's stuck in there. I don't know if I could get that out. Oh, no, that's solid. That's a shame. I wonder what it is. I'll never get that out. I need a jackhammer. No. Oh, no. I better stop looking in it because I'll find things that I can't have. And there's another coin down here. Oh no, I've lost it again. There was a coin down here. Oh yeah, there, look. What's that? Oh, it looks like a modern penny. The sea makes modern coins look ancient. But yeah, that's a modern penny. Well, 1970s onwards. Spotted another coin, but I, I kind of covered it up again. I'm sure I spotted a coin. Oh no. Let's see, maybe I was just imagining things. Well, I'll come back to you if I find it. Okay, so I think I found the coin I was looking for. It looks the same size as a modern penny. I'm not sure if it is. It could be a farthing. But once again, it's too too worn. I don't know if I'll ever be able to see anything on that. But it's a coin. Okay, Alex has found a coin. I hope we can get it. Because it's like... Oh no, it's not in this big... Yeah, look. It's in this uh, big conglomeration oh, that I was just talking about. I might need my trowel. <laughs> Oh no, let me have a look. There, oh yeah, I can just see it. I'm going to have to get the trowel. I wasn't going to look in this anymore because I was afraid to see oh, something no. I couldn't get. There's all sorts in There's there. There's all sorts in there, yeah. Right, okay. trowel. Let's try and get this rock out of here. Ah. Oh, oh, there it is, Aha. there it is. It looks pretty bashed up. It is very bashed up. Yeah, I think it's a penny. Look how it's all worn on the yeah, edge where, where it's been... Uh, rocks and things yeah. have been banging against it. It's oh, all bent as well. It's a coin though. It is a coin. I wonder how old it is. It's really interesting. Yeah. I wonder what else might be like lurking down here in the cracks. Crevices. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to see if I can find a bit of iron that looks like a chisel. I'm going to have a go at chiseling that thing out I saw earlier. <laughs> That's not pointy enough. Neither's that. Oh. That's kind of pointy. Oh, this. That might do. 
Right, let's go back. Here, some chisel shaped things. Just need a rock. Get this one here. I'll get you a rock. Okay. Try going in from that side. Can we rescue the mystery object? It'll end up just being nothing. <laughs> Go in that way. Like the... uh, I'm it. just here to oh, give wait, directions. It's, we've got some movement. Is it moving? It's moving. It's moving. Oh. Oh, what is it? It's got something on it. Has it? It's got writing on there. Look, it's like it's covered something. It's like an escutcheon it's cover. Got, yeah, but it's got it's got writing on it. Oh. Can't read that. It's definitely got something on it though. Might be able to read that later. Yeah, that's really interesting. Another coin being spotted. Can it be it extricated? Oh, oh, what's this? Yes. Yes. What is it? A coin. I know, but what? <laughs> I don't know. With it being in this lump, it might be more protected from the sea. And it's hard uh, to say. It's a bit of wishy here. A wishy washy. Oh, oh no. Oh, it's fallen into a hole. It would. The only hole there, and it falls <laughs> into it. Oh, it's it's crusty. It needs a clean. Got like a. Uh... It's oh, hard to say. It's hard there to you say, go then. Might... Yeah, we're finding all sorts down here. This is the place to be on this lumpy crud. Rusty lump. Oh, lusty rump. There's yet another coin check thing down here. coin is about to come out. Oh, oh, oh. And it might be silver. You know what? That looks silver to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, That does look silver. It's a bit bent. But look at the colour of that. It's not that aluminium. Is... Let me feel it. No, it's not. You can feel no. it. It's not light. Not that sure. That first precious metal. It's very thin. I think it's just been worn away to absolutely nothing. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh, the poor thing. Yeah, you can't see any detail on that at all. It's just completely. Yeah, so we've got ourselves three coins from this small area. Yeah, not bad. It's quite fun digging it out. Chiseled them Chiseling out. Chiseling it out. It's quite fun, actually. Yeah, it is. Isn't it? So, there's something else stuck in the conglomeration. We think we've got more silver. Yeah, look at that. Is that? It looks like the T-bar off. A pocket watch. A pocket watch. So uh, let's see if we can get it out. Careful. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, oh, I look. I think it is, isn't it? I think it is. That's our second bit see of See how that bit's gone black. Yeah. So silver goes black. This bit isn't black because it's been exposed to the... The sea. Someone's lost their watch on the beach, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. This is where all the things people have lost came to get stuck. <laughs> There's a coin over here as well, look, hold on. A coin over here as well. What is it? Ta da! Looks like another halfpenny. Oh my goodness. They're look coming thick and fast they now. Are. Look, I found this little charm. I think it's got something like stamped on it. Little brass charm. Hold on. So I'm going to show you my hole down here. I've had a look in here. I can't see any like obvious coins sticking out. Well, any more of them anyway. So this is what we've got. Um, oh, I found this coin as well. I forgot to show you, which looks really old. 
That looks like a, some sort of Georgian coin and a um, a nail as well, a boat nail. But we've got a silver coin, really worn down, quite thin. Um, some sort of penny, I think. Uh, this coin, which also looks quite old, maybe a halfpenny. Uh, this, maybe also a halfpenny. And this little charm, which um, you can't see it right now, but faintly has some sort of uh, wording on it or something. There's where I've like dug it out. It's got a scrape mark on it, unfortunately. But yeah, I thought that was going to be a coin, but it's actually a little charm. And of course, this tea bar off a pocket watch chain. And I'm um, pretty sure that is actually silver to go with our silver coin. So yeah, some absolutely cracking finds, um, including some precious metal. So um, I'm so looking forward to uh, to looking closer at some of these things, honestly. So amazing. Such a great day. And on that note, I want to thank all the, everyone who has watched the video to this point, who has liked and subscribed or resubscribed as YouTube keeps unsubscribing people, as we found out in the last recent videos. And a, a great big thank you to our... Our patrons on Patreon, of course, who help to keep us going every week. Thank you so much. Bring you down here. Let's go. And, let's go and have a look at my coin. There it is. Another coin. This looks like a halfpenny, actually. Yeah. And um, I've just spotted something down there that's round. I don't know if it's a rock. No, that's not a rock. Oh my goodness! Is that a musket ball? I don't know if it's a fishing weight or a musket ball, but you know what? That is giving me musket ball vibes. Although it depends what it's made of. Is it iron? Or is it lead? I don't know. Like mum said, can't really do this without knee pads. Well, you can, but your knees are very, very sore afterwards, let me tell you. But let me show you the coin. I think you can probably spot that down there. And you. It's, uh, it's that beautiful verdigris colour. It's a coin. But what kind of coin? I don't know. Put it in my pouch. But we're going to have to take a closer look at some of these finds when we get back. Is this a gun? Look, that looks like the handle. It goes down here. And the trigger would have been down here somewhere. I don't know, is that a gun? Look at the size of that nugget. That is a huge lump of uh, copper alloy. So heavy. Maybe you could use that for melting down and casting, I think. Because I do have a furnace, so that would be a really cool project in the future. Okay, we've got another coin down here, but I've lost it. Where is it gone? Oh, there. Oh, no. Wait a minute. That's not a coin. It's a bit of a key. Oh, uh, it's a bit of a broken key. Look. <laughs> Mum found a whole one. Let's see what else we can find down here. Because it's starting to get dark and we'll have to be going soon. But it's just very addictive searching for these treasures. So look at this big lump of iron and metal. It's so heavy. There must be lead in here too as well. It's come detached from the, the big piece, hasn't it? Yeah. And um, look, there is a, a coin in there. sorts of metal in there. It's really really heavy. You could sell this as a, <laughs> a 
It's like a, one of those kits you get for like kids. Like excavate your own dinosaur bones, like, you know, fake. But it's like an adult version. It's like a excavate your own rusty lump uh, for treasures. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Something, there's stuff underneath it. Oh. Oh my goodness. What's that? I don't know, but it looks gold. It's like shiny. It's like stuck to a bit of like brass or like pin. Is some that sort gold? of pin. Is it gold? Oh. No way. Have we found gold? Oh my goodness. I don't know. I hope so. It's shiny. It is shiny. The brass we usually find here is like, well, it's all verdigris. But yeah, that but it was underneath there, might have been protected. Yeah, might have been protected. I don't know. But look at that. That looks like gold to me. I guess we're gonna have to find out, haven't we? And get that cleaned up. I just found another one. What? A coin. <laughs> I think it's a halfpenny. Um, but I've also spotted another one down here, look, this tiny one. It's like a coin hoard today. That's crazy, I think mum's actually spot uh, said she just spotted a coin as well. This is a tiny little coin, maybe it's like a little farthing or something. I'm not sure though. Could be something really interesting. Anyway, yeah, we'll definitely be looking at these when we get back home. Have a closer look. See, it looks absolutely beautiful. Colours. So, um, we've been digging around for the last uh, 10 minutes and we've got our final handfuls of treasure including like loads of coins i found like four coins how many do you got i don't i've got this but i don't know if it's coin yeah might not be we'll bring you down here to have a look um but yeah we're gonna get home because we're wet and we're cold and it's getting dark now yeah. so it's been amazing and we found so much in this little area down here it's been so much fun. It's just it's been so good. You just don't know what you're gonna find, honestly. I'm st I'm really we might find gold. I know we might find gold. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to getting home and seeing what's like written know. on some of the stuff that we found and what those coins are. Anyway, let's show you what we've got. Here they are. See, we've got all okay. sorts. I don't know. A window latch, maybe. I think we found something like that yeah. before. This looks like a weight. I think. Oh yes. You know, it's got the slit there. Where oh it's yeah. Slot it onto um like. A Thing. <laughs> I think that's just a nugget, a piece of sea glass there, a nice boat nail. Don't know what that is. Not sure if that's a coin. I think it might just looks be looks very a, silver. A like disc. a yeah. Not sure what this is either. And another nugget of copper alloy. And um I've got an interesting lot here. I've got some like fittings. It looks like off um furniture hinge and that looks like it goes from like you know around a doorknob like oh, on yeah, a door yeah, yeah. do you know what i mean yeah there's a bit of a spoon uh there's actually that bit of key that you just saw me find and that gold thing there look this is interesting it's like folded over it's i know i wonder if it's got anything on it uh yeah the coins at the end there big nugget nug coins and a bit of key yeah so uh our final finds of the day and yeah we're going now because it's cold and getting dark. <laughs> Before the boat 
had hit the water, the whale's tail came up and caught her all hands to the side, harpooned and fought her when she dived down low. Soon may the wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. For forty days or even more, the line went slack, then tight once more. All boats were lost, there were only four, but still that whale did go. Huh. Soon may the weathermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. I die, but I die. So here they are, our really quite amazing array of finds from the beach. Oh, absolutely. It's actually incredible just how many coins we find. I know. This is amazing. People go out with metal detectors and don't find this much. No so way. No we don't, way. We don't need a metal detector. We don't need a metal detector. No metal detector needed for the northern mudlarks. We've got, um, all of them are like um, copper, mo well, mostly copper pennies, aren't they? I like how there's just one piece of cedar. It's just one piece of <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's not actually a coin. That's just a bit of aluminium. It's like a disc, yeah. Stamped out of something industrial. So, yeah. And we've got one silver one. We've got silver here and here. We've got gold. Yes. So we've got copper and brass and iron. So yeah, we've got it all here today. And lead, don't forget. And, and lead, yeah. Um, but yeah, do we want to talk about the gold? Yes, we because do. Because we didn't actually about... think it was gold at no, first, did we? No, it's quite heavy actually. So when I started to clean this up, I thought it does look like gold, but it looked like a thin layer of gold over the top of something else. Yeah. But it turned out it was just crud stuck to it. And as I cleaned, I could see that here and here, yes. you can see where the band of a ring has snapped off. So this is actually a signet ring. How crazy <laughs> is that? That's actually part of a gold signet yeah. ring. And it's actually the biggest piece of gold we found at this site. Because we found lots so of little bits So that is quite before. a chunk of gold, really. It's probably nine carat. But it's got a lovely surface on it, the way the sea has sandblasted it. I know, it's wonderful. And we could actually make that back into a ring. Oh, 100%, because yeah. that would be the coolest ring. It probably was hallmarked on the band, yeah. but of course that's gone. Um, but yeah, some poor man maybe swimming. Actually, yeah. you know, <laughs> it's had a fingers in the shrink in the cold, because that's very well, cold. Well, the sooner. North Sea is, is rather chilly. Yeah, and um, yeah, so... A, a bit, bit of gold and the biggest bit we found on that beach as well because we usually just find tiny bits. The other precious metal, apart from this, is this, um, we were right to suspect this was the T-bar of a pocket watch chain. Yeah, which is cool. Yeah. So we've got um, two different precious metals here. We've got silver and gold, which and is so cool. This is the remains of a silver coin. It's must have been in the sea for a long time because it is very, yeah, very thin. It's extremely thin. Very, and like, no, nothing, no trace of anything left no. on it. Okay, so we've got a few date ranges, um, uh, but unfortunately most of the coins are far too worn for us to see anything. Yeah, so we can't see the, the oldest yeah, or the youngest. Which is a shame, but we know we have our um, Queen um, Elizabeth. Elizabeth II. So we've got some modern coinage here, but we've also got some... Yeah, these are Edwardian, Edward the Seventh, which was Queen Victoria's son. This one is dated, we can read the date, 1910. Yeah, and... Which is uh, the year he died. Yeah, you can kind of see the heads, very faint heads. Yeah, so we think that's um, Edward as That well. might be Edward as well, but apart from that... Oh, we have 1920, oh yeah, 1920 one here, don't mm, we? 1921 or something, I think. Yeah, you can just can see it on the bottom there, 1920-something. So, yeah. Um, quite an array of It's very difficult. And but hapenies. Yeah, we've got some quite old ones there, I think, but it's yeah. really difficult to say because they're so worn. Yeah. So we have some wonderful sort of copper alloy nuggets. Oh, yeah, they we're are amazing. I'm not sure what these were used for. There must have been some sort of foundry, some foundry founding going on. We know there was an ironworks near there and that they did shipbuilding as well there on the beach. But uh, these are pre-washed. Ta-da! Well, cleaned. Look at that difference. 
but before we've and after. Polished a few up just to show you what they look like polished. And they look beautiful polished, but I really like the yeah, I like patina the on it. Well. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? But they also look really nice shiny. Yeah. Yeah, look, see this has got inclusions in it of something. Like it's stuck yeah. in there. So and they look like raw nuggets. So we're not sure. We're not sure. Something to do with found. We have not. Anyway. Yeah. So we, we can't be 100 percent sure. We can't find anything in, you know. Yeah. Maybe they made. Research. Maybe they made things like this, and when they didn't come out of the mold or whatever properly, yeah. they threw them away. Maybe we think maybe because we found lots of these before as well. The, yeah, these are like window latches. And but stuff, same design we found, haven't we? Yeah, we have found quite yeah. a few of these. But we think they might be from shipbuilding. So could they be from nails? Because we do find nails. a lot of yeah. copper nails, loads of them. So it might be something to do with the shipbuilding there on the shores. Could be. But we also have our collection to show you. Look at this. <laughs> this massive box. Yeah, look at it. Wow. Look at all these. These are all, all the nuggets we've found there over the years. It is. <laughs> and there's more in here. Pull these out of some of my right, hand. Let me pour them onto okay. the table. Remove the box. These are some polished ones, smaller ones. It looks like a bag of gold. Whoa. <laughs> it looks, um, doesn't that look incredible? It took ages to polish all of these. Well, we didn't all do them individually by hand. No. <laughs> um, they went in the but tumbler, look. but yeah, can you see how some of them are like almost gold? Look. Yeah, some so some are more brassy. Yeah, and then we've got copper. Obviously. Some are more coppery. So why well, some are even lighter. Why what different are they? alloys of copper? Yeah, and they, the colour range is beautiful. So we, we don't know why. There, there's so many nuggets on the beach there. It's but just they're beautiful. It's a mystery, but they're amazing. Okay, so here are all of the coins that we found previously at oh. that same beach. Oh my goodness, it's a coin lunch. All by eye. Isn't this crazy? This is mad. Look at them all. All we've eyes only. only. We've only been there a couple of times. This I is know, like, we've been there about a handful of times yeah, over the last few years. Two or three visits. So yeah. And we also have this uh, array of um, copper and brass pieces. Some of yeah. them are obvious. Obviously like keys, top of a spoon, a hinge. But what is this? It's like a socket in there. Yeah. Like there's been a ball in there or something. There's so, amongst the things that we find there, we find so many unidentified like, So we'd love it bits. if you could help us identify some of them. Or if um, you recognise anything here. That's like a bit of copper pipe that's squashed. Interesting. And random. But we can definitely do things with these bits, even though we've got thousands of them now. Probably couldn't, in a lifetime, couldn't use them all <laughs> in crafts. <laughs> we've got so much. And of course, there's my favourite find, which is a miner's tally or tag or check or token. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it had 16 on it, but it could have I been I don't an think eight. so, because that's, that's round. That's yeah, a circle. Yeah, it could have been round six. Well, 16 or 18. Yeah. <laughs> but these were used by the miners and the mining company. They'd uh, go in and on their shift and they'd have one of these put onto a board and probably written into a notebook who what yeah they were. i suppose it depends yeah but you know what and time. if that miner didn't come back at the end of the day of course his tally would be still be hanging on the board yeah because after a shift he'd take it off the board yeah when he came up at the mines and, and went i don't know there was someone in the lunch little, break whatever someone in this little officey thing that Actually, did they, I'd, I'm pretty sure someone said some. they didn't even come up for their lunch break. No, they, no, they wouldn't have come for their lunch break. So, uh, I yeah, think they'd stay down for their, their whole day. The whole uh, day. No, what a grim, absolute grim job. I would hate to be a miner. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that they might have actually had these tags on the like, mine carts. Yeah. But I'm not sure about that, actually. Some also say that they'd have two of these. One yeah. they'd take with them and one they'd leave on the boards. So. Yeah. Yeah, so I suppose it varied depending on what which mine. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was different, and a lot of these tags actually had the mine name of the mine, mine and the company. company. Yeah. Um, but this is really basic, isn't it? Yeah. So, so maybe these were all chucked out when the mine got new ones with the yeah. name on or something. Or, or, maybe, or maybe they're, they're just, just really old ones. Old. Yeah, really old. Who knows? 
who knows but yeah it's interesting either way it's really it interesting and of course that's not the only miners tally that we found there oh, no over the years whoops these are all the ones that we've found so they all follow a similar theme they're like kind of on a an angle and they have the corners cut off at the sides and this one hasn't though so i don't know and that one's really skinny look at that whoa this is the it's... only round one and 11. then this one that's our 12th one 12th one so we've got a, a whole dozen minus tallies now so this that we pulled out of that great big crusty lump of yeah that epic rust crusty lump it's quite interesting actually <laughs> it is the front cover of a lock sort of an escutcheon cover if you like yeah like a padlock yeah a padlock. of a big padlock and it actually says, once we cleaned it up, we could see it's J, S and S, improved tumbler lock. And now the manufacturers of these tumbler locks all seem to have a different shaped cover. Yeah. So it's really interesting to see all the different locks with it the is. different covers on. And we've, we found quite a few parts of these really old... Um, yeah. 19th century locks on that beach they for date some from about the mid 19th to the late 19th century we've got loads of bits of it's fun, funny how they were all called improved they were all improved <laughs> yeah i don't know improved yeah. from what we may never know but uh yeah i think that it was their um ability not to be picked as easily yeah i think well, the earlier locks could be picked more easily it yeah apparently. it'll be the security of yeah. them yeah that's been improved so but. yeah i really like that and this strange looking thing here is actually a weight and it's called a slotted weight for obvious reasons it might have the weight stamped on it somewhere but we haven't cleaned it so we can't see yeah, it. yeah it's hard to see um and these would have slotted onto a hanger which would have had a hook on the top and a plate on the bottom to hold them. And they'd come in all sorts of different weights, of course, just like other weights. And I think they would have been used um, in experiments where they were calculating the mass of different things. And I've seen modern ones advertised as um, for soil, soil weights. Soil, soil weights. Mass weights. Oh, why would you need to know that? I don't know. I'm not really sure exactly well, how they use we'll, them but we'll leave that to the scientists yeah, yeah. i think but uh it's interesting because we've got a collection of weights that we have found over the years actually yeah and we found a lot of these little scale weights here um that's a, a new one for the collection and we've also got and we've got this one so we've got like a whole weight collection going on like three different kinds of weights this is more likely to have been used in a kitchen probably on kitchen scales yeah or in a shop Shop. Shop, and these would yeah. have come in a variety of different sizes and so would these and these as well would have been much bigger ones of those as well which have been on a balance scale yeah so, yeah we've got this uh really interesting sciencey type of weight scale weight collection yeah how great do they look as well so we've got something here it's a little tag of something a little charm but it's been extremely frustrating because, as you can see, there's a word on there. S-A-R, S-A something, and you can see the end of it, but we don't know what it says. I think the end is like E-R-E -E or something. E-R-E, -E, and there's writing above it, and there's also, it's very, very faint, but can you see? Oh, you can't really. There's writing on the back as well. And down here is a it looks like a griffin it's really difficult to see you kind of need a um a magnifying glass to see but it's like a griffin coming out of a crown yeah, a griffin or a phoenix a phoenix or something like that so if you if you recognize it by the off chance you know what this is we'd is it love some to know sort of um like sunday school yeah is it some sort of religious thing religious um, we don't know. I something. wish we did, but it's been battered around in the yeah. sea for the last 100 or plus 100, 200 years, <laughs> something like that. So, yeah, um, it's in, not in a great way. Um, and then finally, I think we've got our, my favourite find anyway. I'm yeah. not sure about you, but this is my no, favourite find. I love it. And I actually like it in the state it's in now yes. rather than what it looked like when it was new, which we... We'll show you. Yeah, we do have some pictures. But I have found some information out about the man depicted on this little badge. What, you mean the guy with the pork chops? 
And it's got some pork chops at the end. Mutton chops. <laughs> and it says on there Matthew Hall and a date which is 18, 18, um, 1848. And that's all we had to go by. So Matthew Hall Engineering Company made a badge in 1948 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Matthew Hall Works. And so Matthew Hall was born in Newcastle upon Tyne in the north of England in 1815. His father was a merchant and his mother, Lizzie Reed, came from a big house called Trough End in Northumberland. And this was a stately home and had been in the Reed family for 800 years. That's crazy. But sadly, um, after years of neglect, it was demolished in the 1950s. That's such a shame. But anyway, so he had quite a yeah. good background. Yeah. But in 1848, Matthew moved to London to develop his own business, which was plumbing and lead working. Of course, plumbing wasn't just to do with drains and toilets and things in those yeah. days. Plumbing was an art of lead work and they'd make beautiful things like um, things, you know, the, the things at the top of drain that would catch the water from roofs and yeah. they were very ornate, ornate um, toilet systems, yeah. all sorts of yeah, yeah. ornate troughs and things like that. And he um, was a master plumber and a skilled lead work worker and won many prestigious contracts such as plumbing and lead workings from Buckingham Palace wow. and various museums and Westminster Abbey and Windsor Castle. So he must have been pretty good at what he did. He was obviously a talented guy, yeah. He never married, but he did take in his sister Mary and her children after her husband, um, who was addicted to opium, she left. She left him. Wow, okay. Yeah. Poor so, Mary. I think she uh, left him and uh, divorced him. Yeah. So she lived with her brother, Matthew. The company became um, Matthew Hall Limited in 1927. And in the 80s, the business expanded overseas. And in 1988, it merged with Amec, Amec, I think that's how you say it, Engineering, which was purchased by SPIE, SPI, in 2007. So the company is still going. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. In a way. I, I know. A lot of these companies start like that. One man yeah. business who's very successful. They go into partnership and then they merge and then they, they get always bought merge. out. They yeah. always merge and get bought out by a, a conglomerate. And it's, yeah. it's a bit sad really, isn't it? That yeah. these individ individual businesses just all get eaten up into one big giant. But as you can see from the picture of what this used to look like, it had a beautiful light blue background and behind... Matthew himself was this dark blue, sort of indigo blue. Um, the badge was actually made by Caxton Q of Surrey. It's made of brass and it would have had a gilt finish with the recesses filled with light and dark blue. And on the back would have been a pin fastener. So this would have been really quite shiny, fancy looking. <laughs> yeah. uh, not anymore. It looks like some ancient relic now. So I'm thinking someone who worked for the company has lost that. Yeah. Yeah, maybe an employee. Yeah. Yeah. And I love how it's just, there's this tiny little bit of enamel just clinging on for dear life. But there. I love the way it looks now. It would actually make a great odd pendant, wouldn't An it? An odd piece of jewellery, yeah. piece of jewellery. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thank you, um, Fate, for bringing this to us. We yeah. could learn about Matthew yeah. and his plumbing. Um, that's a really interesting find as well. It is. So before we go, we've got uh, one last thing to mention, I think, haven't we? Yeah. Um, it's this, uh, and it kind of looks like a musket ball, but it's actually made of iron. It's a solid piece of iron. Yeah. Um, and we think this is what's called a piece of grape shot, which would have been fired from a cannon. Um, and they were commonly actually used on ships as well. And the grape shot would obviously there'd be lots of little balls and they'd be over an inch and they'd be in like a container kind of tied together and uh, that was shot and obviously all the little balls would go flying out cause a lot of damage and cause a lot of damage especially yeah. to, to sails yeah they, they were designed really to tear the sails apart exactly and we know in that particular area where this beach was there was a lot of smuggling, smuggling. <laughs> and piracy and 
Yeah. yeah, battles on the high seas, so who knows? Of course, it's quite small now because it's it been is. bashed against rocks it's for very rusty endless years, yeah. Misshapen, but it's really cool. Yeah. And um, we found quite a few bullets and shot musket balls and all sorts on yeah. that beach as well, haven't we? Yeah. So, um, what an amazing collection of finds. Um, just a few hours of searching, and yeah. it's just incredible, isn't it? On I'm the beach, so chuffed. It's crazy. Stripped of sand by the winter yes. storms. Um, just left everything. We can only really do yeah. this at this time of year when the sand's yeah, not there. Cause... Because in the summer, they can be up to like three feet of sand oh, on yeah, top of that Oh yeah, it's crazy. Um, so you just can't find anything. So, so yeah. it's, it's definitely a great, it's been a great winter treasure hunt. Yeah. Well, spring. Spring now, Spring isn't it? now. Spring. So, uh, yeah, I think on that incredible, um, on, to end that incredible day, we'll say thank you for watching and we'll see you again next, next week. week. Bye. Bye.